Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be using finally the Jeffree Star Alien Palette. Not only will I be using it, but I am collabing with Anya Stamper. Stamper. I'm so sorry if I say her name wrong. And um, Sarah um, Smiles Loves Makeup. I will put their channel links down below in my description box um i have collabed with them before they are absolutely fabulous friends and um, i consider them friends and fellow youtubers friends first um anyways so on the back of the box lists the ingredients um it so I want to see if it contains, yeah, it has the Red Lake 28. Um, so this does contain the Red Lake 7 uh, or 28. Um, anyways, ingredients is listed on the back. It says net weight 18 times 1.37 grams, 0.5 ounces. And that is pretty much it. On the back and then we open it up and we have an alien head it feels like pleather you know like leather but fake it's not real leather obviously but it has a very good texture um, I like it because I, I feel like if I get something on it I'll be able to wipe it off easily which when you're doing makeup is kind of nice I mean it's, it's not vital but um, it just makes it easier. I love the eyeballs. They're like plasticky. Then you open it up and you have a mirror. And then you can fold it all the way over. And then inside you have 4, 8, 12, 18 shades. I should have known that from the uh, cart. Don't mind me. It's been a while since filming. Um, Anyways, so here is the opening. I love how it has the UFO imprinted and the alien head. And it was just super, super cute. I absolutely love the colors in here. Um, I think they are definitely unique, especially this one up here, Alien. And then um, Probe looks pretty good. So let me show you some swatches. Okay, so here are the swatches. Try not to get it on my shirt. Um, so here are the swatches and here is the palette. I know I'm trying to hold it up next to them. Um, I think that swatches are just one thing and then I'm gonna wipe these off so and get on my shirt. Uh, I, I got a Disneyland shirt. I have a few <laughs> Disneyland shirts now. Obviously, I'm uh, working there, so yeah. I pay a visit to the company store, which on Black Friday um, was the only place I made it to, and they had an extremely good sell on top of a 20% off coupon I have. So I got quite a few gifts, and then I got a couple of shirts. And I got some things for my giveaways. So I hope you guys like Disney as much as I do. If not, you can pass it on. So let's get started on this. Um, I think you can do like a neutral look with this palette as well as a very um, out there kind of look. So we are going to begin. And I'm going to go into... I'm going to start off with a light shade. Let's see. Build it up from that. I'm going to go in with Titan right here on the top. There is kickback. But, you know, for some people that bothers them. But for me, it just does not bother me at all. Hopefully this will be like an extraordinary long video. I just feel a little rusty because I did do the filming yesterday with my holiday haul but like I haven't filmed doing makeup in a while and so I feel a bit rusty so hopefully it won't be like really really long so anyways 
I have had a couple days off now and uh, I'm very grateful for that because I am definitely recovering from the late hours and all the physical aspects my body was not used to. I get my heart monitor off on Friday. I've had it on, it will be a month on Friday. I can't believe it's already been a month. I mean, this year has gone by so fast. It's just not even funny. And uh, our family member is still in the hospital. Uh, the one that had the blood clot to the heart. He had a stroke and, in the hospital. And so it was kind of a setback, but he is uh, recovering. Now I'm going to go into Gravitia. Uh, I don't know if I said that right, but there's the name. Gravity is uh, not spelled that right, that way. So I'm trying to say it the way it looks. So just going with the flow. I got some ordering done for Cyber Monday for Christmas. I only went to one store, which was the company Disney. Um, I haven't been up for much else. Super happy to be filming today. It's just been, it feels like forever. So this is going on really good. I'm building, I'm building it up. There is kickback, but it's, it doesn't bother me. That kind of thing just really is not a make or break it for me. Some of these may stain your lids. Um, and on the blood sugar palette, like the reds, um, could possibly stain your lids. I personally have never had that. I mean, I've had it where maybe there was just a little bit less after I took my makeup off then the next day it was just gone so it wasn't like a huge concern for me but just a little note okay i'm gonna go in with hmm, i don't know okay i'm gonna go in with martian soil this yellow mustard green i can't wear color Colorful makeup, it works. I'm going to make sure I wear it today. Yesterday, I used the Kylie Holiday Palette, and um, uh, I like it. I really do. I think uh, her makeup is very um, underestimated. And they left out a lipstick in my um, package I opened, which you probably saw if you actually watched my whole video i had to pause because i was like is it really not in there and i had to look through the whole box again um i emailed them and they're shipping it so they got back to me like about half hour ago which was pretty quick so not too bad not too bad at all this is a really nice yellow mustard so for my holiday giveaway, I'm going to try something completely different. Um, I'm going to see who really watches all my videos, like thoroughly, to win my holiday because it's going to be a really big giveaway. Okay, so I'm just going to blend these out. Now, I'm going to go in with, okay, now I'm going to go in with X-Files right here with Alien Head. I want to use as many colors as possible in the palette. I'm going to go in the crease with this one. Now, I'm not going to bring it too high up. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Mine was very good. 
I believe. I left around seven for work. Just trying to build this shade up. Dabbing a lot and then bring it over. But yeah, I had a good Thanksgiving. It was it was really nice seeing some family I hadn't seen in a while. And then I am trying to apply to work in the new Star Wars land that opens up in Disneyland in June. So I'm excited about that. Um, golly gee, I don't know where to go with this. Okay, uh, there's so many colors I want to use. I'm going to go in the Ghost OG. I'm, I'm just building up this crease. Like, super bold because again I can't wear them at work so I'm gonna wear it today so my job's good it's good I just I think in my mind um, I want to do so much more on that I, than my health allows me to and it kind of disappoints myself um, especially after last week, after working the five days and some of them until three in the morning, I, I think that I realized I had uh, way overdone it. And um, for two days, Sunday, Monday, I, I could barely even walk or talk. And um, I think Saturday night I realized on my way to work, that I was pushing myself too hard and um, my body wasn't responding to it very, very well at all. So um, if they give me those super late hours again and that many days I'm probably going to have to trade and give away some of my shifts because it, it was too much. It was just too much and um, I, I can't do that to myself and I, I'm really bummed because I want to. I want to. But uh, I can't. I'm not as healthy as I used to be. And I just can't handle that. The the hours and the, the work, it's just, I can't. So we'll see what happens. I have a feeling like during Christmas week and all that, they're gonna give me a lot of hours and I'm gonna have to trade, well, give them away basically. So I'm, I, I blend it out the crease and then it kind of took away the color so I'm packing it back on again with the same colors Ghost OG and X-Files I mean it looks good when I pack it on but if I go to blend it out, it it just it goes away. Um, so just keep that in mind if you have this palette. Like for me, that's just how it's kind of working out, you know. Okay, so I'm going to cut my crease and then I will be okay. So I cut my crease and I winged it just a little bit. I actually need to wing this side a little bit more. I want to kind of make it match. Um, if you're not precise on the cut crease, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go in with Flying Saucer right here. I mean, come on, you have to use this. Just, I have to. You don't, but I do. I'm going to go in the crease with it. 
and then wing it. Maybe kind of stamp it on there. Feels so good to be in my beauty room using my makeup. I miss it. I miss it, I miss it. Okay, so I'm gonna shorten the video a little by doing one eye on, one eye off, because otherwise this could turn into like an hour. And I don't wanna do that. So, I'm going to go and do this eye now with the green. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Alien up here. There's so many colors I want to use, you guys. Many. But I can only put so much on one eye. I'm going to start in the middle. I want to see how it packs on there. Oh, that's nice. Because I'm debating on another color. That I might put on it's a darker on the outer part so I think I'm gonna keep this in the middle and that one on really good and I think I'm gonna go on the outer part with I'm sorry, I'm not mentioning my brushes, but they are all the Delium Wingos and uh, Fenty. So and now I'm going into the Lexumones that were sent in our last box. I'm going to go into Space Cowboy right here. Um, I want to see how this one looks right on the edge. nice it's a really pretty like metallic foiled kind of shade very nice not bad not bad at all i'm wondering if i should wing it let's try it out because i can always wipe it off we're gonna wing it see how it looks and then i'll clean it up later and make it look better. I'm going to do my other stuff. Okay, so for the inner part of my eye, I think I'm going to go in with inner cellar. I don't know why I have this brush in my hand. I grabbed the wrong brush. Interstellar. Interstellar right here. I'm going to use this in the corner of my eye. It looks super pretty. This one I'm going to pack on the front. I think I picked up way too much on my brush. I'm going to shift it over here to this eye. Blend it with the green. Super excited to see. Anya and um, Sarah's look, Sarah, they're so good. So that should be fun. I love collabing with them. Very fortunate to know some really good people here on YouTube. So now I think what I'm going to do is clean up under my eye because it's a mess. And then I will be back and we will do underneath the eye together. Okay, so I went ahead and I cleaned up and I set with some powder. Now I'm going to go in with black coal under my eye. Now, I've been warned that the shimmers burn um, under the eye. Maybe not for everybody, but just a precaution. 
So I'm not sure if I'm willing to chance using them under my eye. Um, I don't know. So I'm just dabbing that halfway and then do the other side real quick. I am loving the greens. They really, really came out well. Okay. Making sure I connect to the upper with the black. Oh. Um, okay, now. I know I want to go in the corner of my eye with Pluto. I mean, I am using a lot of these colors, so we're going to go in the corner of my eye with Pluto. Um, this looks like a duochrome. Super, super pretty. I feel like if I smudge this out more like I'll do it on my hand you're gonna see shifts of color in here like a duochrome probably better with a swatch there's like specks of um gold and stuff going through it almost looks like pink but I could be wrong I don't, you know I don't know but it's what it looks like to me um I'm gonna shade like smoke out under my eye I'm not going to shake it. I'm going to smoke it out. And then I think I'm going to go in with oh, so many colors to choose from. Hmm. Did I use abduction already? I have not. I'm going to go in with well, yeah, I did use abduction. I used that right in the front. Hmm, decisions. I feel like I'm shrinking. Okay, this. so I'm going to use, I, I'm going to not use a shimmer under my eye because I don't want to risk um, ruining my eye look. If it does burn my, under my eye, I will attempt it at a later date. But since I'm getting this film in so late, um, I would like to wear it for at least a couple hours. So I'm going to go in with abduction right here. I don't remember if I've used it or not. I have like short term memory loss here. Seriously. Um, and I'm going to put that, you know, just on the inner corner and bring it into the black, like almost to the middle. It's definitely a very green look, and I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I am going to do the rest of my eye off camera. I am done with the eyeshadow um, and I will come back and give you my thoughts on this. It isn't really a review film, um, but I am still just going to give you like a first impression on it. It's a collab and uh, but I still figure I'll give you just like a first impression that way in case you're trying to get your hands on it or you're contemplating it, you can get a little bit of my opinion, if that matters. I will be back. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So, um, I wanted to do my highlighter on camera, and my camera holder is just messed up, so I'm going to scoot it back, so I feel like I'm cutting my head off. Um, so I'm going to use one of the shadows in the palettes. And then I'm going to use some of the Supreme Frost. I do have all five. I got a couple of them at the Morphe store. And then a month later, uh, I got them from Jeffree Star, his website. Um, 
The shipping has been really off lately. I know he was waiting for them from uh, Paris or whatever, but anyways, long story, watch my Jeffree Star video on that one. Um, I have a couple of favorites. These are just stunning and they really, really light up at night. So, okay. Um, so anyways, some of these at night, like almost they glow. He did a video where he lit them up with a, um, flashlight and they actually, they glow. They're beautiful. Um, I highly recommend any of them. They're just gorgeous. So I'm going to go into Money Honey. So I'm going to use some of these. I'm going to highlight the shit out of my face today because I can and I want to. And I haven't been able to, so I'm going to. Beautiful. Look at that. Whoa. Like a bam. It's a very kind of a wet look. It doesn't show or emphasize my lovely pores or um, fine lines that are all coming in due to my lovely aging process. It is beautiful. I love it. And then I'm going to go in the palette and I'm going to go into Pluto and I'm going to use that as a highlighter as well. I'm going to go more on top of and then up here, down here. I'm going to be like beaming like bam. And it's a little white but I can tone it down with my blurring powder but not bad not bad at all so that was the shade pluto i'm gonna kind of chill these out a little bit i don't want to look like pasty white or anything i'm using the kylie setting powder oh my gosh face powder whatever we call it I looked online and ordered my sister when they're sold out. I hope, hope, hope she restocks. I really, really do. Um, cause it's really good stuff. Okay. So that is it for the highlight. I think I am glowing enough. Now to pick a lipstick. I have 10 shades, you guys, 10 shades, the eight of the liquid and two of the lip ammunition and i don't know what one to wear um it's like i gotta look at the look and kind of get a vibe for which one um i'm very green on my eyes very very green okay i'm gonna just we're gonna do this together i'm gonna go in with karma this is just for fun, you guys. I don't know how this is going to look. I'm going to use two different shades. Whoa, that is stunning. Oh, my gosh. I love this packaging. So beautiful. Let's do this color. Okay, it looks like army green and there are other words I can say it looks like but I won't I'm sure you guys can get my clue we're going to let that dry for a moment. And then, I mean, when am I going to get a chance to use this? So let's, let's just do this. If it's horrifying, I will switch it to a different color. Um, 
so I'm going to either go in with Alien Tears or Can't Relate on top of it. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let me swatch them. So, ooh, that is a beautiful rose color. What is your favorite Disney character and why? Let's see who gets this far in the video. Uh, even if you skip through, um, this is working up towards my giveaway because it's going to be a good one. Here's Alien Tears. I think I'm going to go in with that. Let me see if it is dry. It's still a little bit tacky. Let me give it a, a moment. Okay, um, while we're waiting for that to dry, um, I am not going to swatch all these lipsticks because this is already a long video, I already know. Um, but I do want to at least give you a first impression, like I said in the beginning. This is a collab with two of my wonderful friends. Um, but I thought I could at least give you a first impression on the palette. Um, I think that like X-Files and um, Ghost OG, uh, the matte dark gray brownish shades um, kind of got washed away if you try to blend them. Um, if you just pat them on, they go on and they have good pigmentation. But if you try to blend them, they blend almost away to nothing. Um, so there's that. And that is just for the brown and the deep gray and the light gray. Um, the black is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, all the greens I used and the gold um i have absolutely no complaints the metallics are fabulous uh this matte green here went on beautifully um and pluto right here is a beautiful um duochrome shade i use that in the inner corner and for highlight love it love it interstellar went on fabulous again the metallics are really really good so far in space cowboy it's just um there is a lot of kickback in the pan which again doesn't bother me but it may bother others and then um there is fallout so if you don't like fallout you know um but i don't mind it because i do my um concealer and all that afterwards so it doesn't bother me fallout does not bother me uh all i can say is if you don't like green you're not gonna like this palette because if you take away the greens like you just like take them out of the equation then this is just gonna be a typical palette so um if you're in it for the greens and you like green you might really like this palette because they perform exceptionally well Not too bad. I mean, I am going to wear it just for fun today. Alien Tears is definitely more of a lip topper. It is very, very sheen, as you can see when I swatch it right here. Um, unless you want more of just a kind of a gloss kind of look. Uh, but for me, it was more of a lip topper. Not a big fan of the green lip look. But again, I'm going to just wear it for fun today. Because uh, I don't know when I'll get much use out of it. I do like the way that this cut crease wing came out very good. Um, I don't know what happened right here. It got smudged a wee bit. It's it's really annoying me there. So we're gonna like, you know, try and take care of that problem. Um, overall, 
I have to say that I like this palette probably more than the Thirsty palette. Um, I think the colors work better in this palette than the Thirsty palette. Um, but the Blood Sugar palette is still my number one. But I do recommend this palette. I think it performs very well. Um, I think I can get a ton of looks out of it. But again, I think the greens are what really stand out in this palette. And if you don't like green, then I wouldn't bother because then you're just left with almost a regular palette. Um, so I have to say that Jeffree Star is a hit again. Um, I can't wait to do more looks with this tomorrow. I might do a natural well, neutral look and just go in here with maybe this one, this one, that one, and that one, and then call it a day for work. Um, so you can get neutral shades, but I'm just saying if you're in it, um, you, I, I'd say you gotta be in it for the greens because otherwise you have a ton of neutral shades probably, or some, maybe not a ton, but I'm just saying, it, this is definitely a go green palette and I love it. I love the material, you guys. And I love Anya and Sarah, um, such great friends. Please take the time to watch their videos. Hopefully take the time to watch mine all the way through. I know it is kind of long. Uh, please leave in the comment section below your thoughts. And if you have picked this palette up, if you plan on picking it up, what do you think about my green lipstick? A little funky, but fun. So anyways, stay tuned. I will have more videos as soon as I can. And I have great holiday giveaways coming up. I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.